Yeah, hi. Good day to you all, to all my fans all over the world. Um, just sorry for uh, um, coming in, coming on late. It was due to some of the technical um, issues that we we so, sometimes face um, when we're doing transmission. Uh, but I want to say thank you for all the good works, all the comments, all the support, all the encouragement that you're giving me. I've got 4,220, 201 or 221. I don't know what the figure looks like uh, um, um, so far. Um, okay, you're welcome to today's show. Um, hello, Stephen. Are you the first entrance today? Hello from Philadelphia. How are you, Pennsylvania? Right. This is a good day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Right. We thank God. Hello, Sunday. <laughs> the three of you, the first first comer to the, today's show. We have quite a lot. Hello, Kemi. Hello, the Louis. Hello, all of you. Wow, today is going to be interesting, fantastic. Now you can see the topic on the on the on the on the display. We are going to learn quite a few things. Um, Today you'll pre you'll be able to compare one or two things with um, when you're doing your project or when, if you haven't started anything or you're just about to um, embark on something. Let me just quickly cite out here most of the figures that we will be quoting on today's show is a learning. Um, let me just a learning um, uh, um, figures comparison. It doesn't mean that is the amount you're going to pay to your contractor or to the laborers, but to give you an idea that believe it, you can do it. Believe once you believe, it doesn't matter wherever location where you are. Believe it. Give yourself a kind of a sacrifice. It's a sacrifice which everybody puts into things. If you don't put a sacrifice into things, you cannot make it. Anyway, quickly, I am going to talk about a brief estimate. On, I'm going to show you some clips. You're just going to have an idea to some of us. Some of you that have been following this cute project of three flats on a half plot. To those of to the, those of us that have been following this cute project on the half plot, we've managed to do during this pro, um, um, during this period of lockdown, we've managed to to do some sort of plastering and I will give you a brief idea now before I go into uh, more explanation okay what's that how much do you think can finish a decking for six bedroom duplex there's a lot that goes into that I'm going to um, we, we have to look at the number of iron rods the size of iron rods the type of topography of the, the type of topography of the land we don't we, I need to know what they have already done, the kind whether they have done in the foundation, they put pillars in the foundation to carry the thing. So there's a lot that is going to that. So let's go to today's show. I'm going to show you one or two familiar clips. Okay. Sorry, bear with me. I'm going to show you this. Okay. Um look at this. Right. Um where is it now? Can you remove that? Look at that. You just keep watching that. There's a, you, some of us are familiar with the rough nature of this um, 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 a building of the three flats. Right. I'm coming to give you analysis of one or two things on this. Um, I'm not too sure whether this is the one I want to show, 
But just keep watching him. Um, they remember last week, we talked about the windows when they just put the windows there. Now, they are now plastering the place. This is the rough state of it before final analysis of the plastering. Look at the mixture of the cement. It's soft sand. Soft, they call it plaster sand. Plus cement, plus all these hungry young men. Hard working, you know, plasters and, and uh, bricklayers. Look at them. In the rough state, they're plastering the wall. The conduit pipe that we talk about, they, they will not see them anymore. Look at the, the, the door frame. Look at the, the, the window with the burglar proof. When they finish this plastering, you cannot expect a welder to bring... Uh, 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 you cannot now go and, go and meet a welder. Oh, please, I want to do burglar proof. Sorry for this, the, the quality of the video. But there's something we're going to learn from this today. Just keep watching it. I um, don't know whether it's number one or number two of the video. Let me just... Um, I don't know whether it's this one. Yeah. Okay. Right. So, that is the entrance. We rock that place. I'm coming to explain a thing, something about that. Look at it. After this has been plastered, I'm still coming back to that video. Because there's a whole lot. Um, I'm going to show... Look at that there. See the, all the angles at the bottom of the window. If you look at that there, I'm coming to... Look at that at the bottom of the window there. Look at that. See, it was a rough, rough, rough. Look at it. Now, after you've plastered something, everything is neat and cute. You're not going to go and get a burglar proof that, has, that is going to be painted. And you now begin to chisel and make holes both up, down, and the side of the window, as it's going to look like. It look, it's going to look a bit, it's going to be look rough. And then you say, oh, they're going to cover it with paint. But anyway, let, let's, let's move on. That starts to tell you, this was done during this period. To tell you that there's nothing that cannot be done. Look at, look at how, how neat. See, see, this is just a plastering of a two-bedroom flat. I'm coming with it. Look at the door frame. You could remember that I told you about the door frame. The size of the door frame, okay, that's the entrance rise. Okay, um, that, that's, no, no, that's the entrance. That entrance, we, they're doing a different tiles to cover. So this is the inside. Look at the, the, the conduit pipe where the switch will be. Let me just backtrack. Okay, I'm coming. I will soon get, soon get to another one. Look at the door frame. That leads to the uh, kitchen. That leads to the kitchen. See all the points, light points. That's the frame. That's the frame. That's seven thousand five hundred. That's the frame that leads to the two bedrooms. That's the that's the passage. See all the points on the wall. The electricity point. Did you see the conduit pipe anymore? Everything has disappeared. Look at the door frame. This is the side. Look at the width of the door frame. That's nine inches. What? Look at all those points. When the electrician wants to put the conduit wiring, they will put snake wiring to sneak the cable inside those conduits. Do you remember? If you remember this project, I mean, look, look, look at the smoothness. The wall has been plastered. You can't see all those conduit pipe anymore. No conduit pipe of a uh, 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 what's it called? Not of that plumbing. Look at that. If you look at that, I'm, I'm going to backtrack a bit. Sorry. Have I messed it up now? Sorry. Okay. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm, got, I'm going backward now. Uh, sorry about this. Um, this project is continued. All right. It's not, it's not sharp. Look at all those small, small walls. Aha. Look at that. Those are where your switch, your, your, your switch is to put on the light in there. They're all buried in the wall. Conduit. That's why I said that's the beauty of conduit doing all this rough work. Before the plastering is done, this is to tell you if you take, if you, if you, let me look, look at that, that, those are the, oh, it's already there. Um, let me see how many people are there now. Gloria, how are you? Uh, Benson, A. Juro, Kenneth, um, yeah, 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 yeah. I was expecting a, a lady to come up on the wall, um, Mrs. Uh, um, Olori. Oh, uh, well, when, when she comes up, I'm going to. She started a project. I've been hearing good, good report in this past few, past few days. So that's to tell you that, believe it, you can do it. 
Ade kare over the video. If you right, you still continue to see all the points at the bottom. Uh huh. That's an electric switch which was already buried into the wall. This was just completed. This plastering was started on Tuesday. Everything has is still not fully dry. That's why you could see it lined up, but they completed it this afternoon. This work was completed because they were taking it from room to room, from room by room, from room to room. So that's, that's the, um, the beauty of it. If the topic we're having today is estimate of plastering two bed flat. I'm coming to, to the estimate. You'll be amazed that the, the figure, you can do it. If you say it's two bedroom, if you're doing a duplex, if you're doing five bedroom duplex, you can be able to say plus or minus the amount which I've just given you on this on the on the on the pricing of this. Okay, so uh, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna come out to that. Uh, let's carry on playing it. This was done completed. We paid them off this afternoon. The guys just finished their job. Look around me, the bottom of the window, right? I'm, 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 uh, okay, the bottom of the window. See, see, smooth, no need of burglar proof again. After this job has been completed, the plastering, why would you come and destroy the work that's already been done by carrying one burglar proof to come and do this? Look at that. Look at that. Even the windows were wrapped up to, to prevent cement staining the, the aluminum. The cement, they, 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 they wrapped the aluminum. Look at, look at all the points in the rooms. Look at the windows. Look at the smoothness of the edges of the windows. You can, I'm going to show you how rough it was initially. Okay, look at the edges. The edges was done. Everything was done accurately today. Uh, well, they started on Tuesday. And they finished it up today. Yeah, that's the, kit, the, 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 the toilet. The reason why this one is rough, because we're going to tile it. We cannot smooth the plastering. It's to prepare it for the, for the tiling. For the tiler, so that the tile will be able to grip and grab and hold onto the wall. You remember all these rooms? Yeah, you remember all of them. Okay. Look at all the points of the light. See the room has been the POP is still coming. Right. Look at the windows. Look at the point light point. Look at the windows. They are well open. Well lit. All right. Sorry. Um let me wipe that. Okay, um, guys, I'm coming to. I'm going to show you the rough nature of some of the um, the. Uh, oh, Lori, the big bay. How are you? You're back on the show. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point in time, let me just quickly, quickly, quickly congratulate one of our fans. She's on the show today. She's, we're not making this up. She too has been following this progressive channel in the past couple of. Uh, well, I think over a year we've been together on this show. She comes on. She, she, I mean, I want to really commend her effort, her resilience, her the, uh, her, the, uh, the, uh, her commitment, uh, her the desire to to build something. She's abroad. She's now built. She started a project, and she showed me um, um, the picture, the images during the week. And I'm so happy. I'm glad for her. That she's taking a step, a bold step, and I looked at the project. This is a very, very good project. It's not easy. Let me be honest with you. After we pay your bills, you pay this, you pay that, and then still trying to make and ends me to, to, to build a project back in our country, in Africa, in Nigeria, in Ghana, in anywhere in the in Africa. Oh no, I did being paid. Um, sorry, permit me. I'm not going to show them the images of your project. But I want to say congratulations. You're taking a, a bold step. You're taking a, a step a step of faith. You will complete it. You started it. The Lord who started a good work in you will complete it. You will build a house. You will live in it. That's what the Bible says. It did not say that you will build a house or somebody else will live in it. You will build it. You will live in it. You sweated to create, to raise the fund, to start it. The enemy will not see the back or the, the, the end of it, but you will see the completion of it. You will enjoy. I'm so glad that good news comes. And so many other people that have started projects have received good, good reports, good news. They said, true, true, your project. I have I've been able to take a step and they were doing it. Yes, don't worry, you will build it. 
you will complete it. You don't know how long you've been following this. That you've been picking ideas, ideas here and there. So you started it. That's how it goes, bit by bit. A little drop of water makes a notion. One day, 10, 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 100,000. Till you finish it. You probably might not even know uh, the amount you spent in the end. But not to go and carry 40 million, 50 million to go and build a house. That I'm going to go and buy a house. I'm sorry, nobody has that kind of big money. But you started it. And every other people that have been watching this, this is a project, this is a pro uh, pro program where people have been encouraged, you know, and, uh, um, to, to, to start something. Anyway, let's congrats for that. It's a beautiful project. It's a, it's a great step. It's a bold step. You will finish it. Uh, we'll go back to our, our, our uh, topic. So what we're saying here, I'm going to come back to another video. Let me just see if I can um, um, bear with me. If I can restart this. Okay. I'm going to match this and for you to watch this. Uh, sorry but for the quality of the video. I'm coming. Is the quality. Don't forget, forget about the quality of the video. There's a lot I'm going to unfold today. Please bear with me and come along. Okay. There's a lot. This was the rough nature. After the window has just been. been, been, been uh, I see all the holes on the walls. Uh, look at it. Look at the rough nature of the walls. Look at it. That was it when, before it was plastered. To tell you that there's always a progress. This was done in a week. It was, you know, they, they, they started it on Tuesday. First and foremost, they just, they put the window there, which we showed you last, um, um, last week. And now, the next stage was to plaster the inside of the living room, the two bedrooms, the kitchen, they left it, what they call it rub, so that um, when the, the tile man comes, the tiles will be able to stick onto the wall. You see? See, they, they wrapped, when you are telling your when the window man, tell them they should make sure that they wrap the window because you don't want it to be stained when the plaster man is putting plaster on the wall. Look at the rough, look at the, all the conduit I've been exposed, you can't see that anymore. Nobody will see that anymore after that. I just want you to see that there's nothing you cannot just believe it that you can do it. If this can be done, if this is done, you too can do more, even more than this. Look at the rough walls. So look, look at the broken, broken bricks here and there. You can't see them anymore. This has been mended. You cannot see. You can never, never see because it's all planned. Look at the edges of the window here now. <laughs> look at the edges. Just look at the edges. Look at the broken edges. This, this is the rough. I was telling you that by the time they finish this project, you'll be amazed of what you're going to be seeing. But it's, it's all done bit by bit, gradually, gradually. Look at the window being opened very wide. There is plenty of air, wind coming in because the windows are so well distributed, cross ventilation. So look at that. Oh, wait, Joe. Good evening. I'm just going through. Oh, hi, Femi from California. Good. How are you? How is the weather over there? Oh, thank you. Ile from Europe. Hello, Trust. 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 Trust set free. All of you that have just come to this today's stage, there's a lot we will. Uh, Bear with me. It looks like uh, the video has stopped there. Um, okay. Right. I'm going to go to another one. You've seen that. I'm going to repeat this. Let me just... Um, right. Look at that as well. This is the, 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 the stage when they are preparing the wall. Sticking the cement on the wall. Look at that. Trying to cover. See the wood, the wood frame. The door frame. Look at the door frame there. The boys are hard working. They are working hard. Look at the door frame. The door frame cost 
7,500 naira. I'm coming to give you a few analysis of the cost because the topic is estimate, and we are going to um, we're going to, we're coming there to come and talk about that. But I just want you to see the work what has gone into this to get to this stage, please. Look at this, they're mixing the cement. It's just, that's, that's what they know how to do best. Look at it. There's no gimmick. No, this, There's no other way to go about it. This is the only way to go about it. Yes. Look at them putting it, covering all those rough cracks. The cracks, you won't see them anymore by the time you get to the next video. You dare not see. Say water. We, we, the, 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 the boys, there's a blade. Look at them. They're doing the edges. They're not going to go and get a burglar proof from a welder after this work is done. So the, the, the door frame was installed. Although that door frame was the one that you saw at the entrance of the building in the last video. If you haven't watched, if you are just watching, you are just coming here, go to last video. At the beginning of it, you will see where they start the five door frame at the entrance of the building. So look at, see, see if you've not... If you are going to go into a project, see, this is the way they do it. So let your contractor not give you some stories. You learn from this video. Now, they look at it. That's the entrance. That's not smooth finish. That's for the tile. You want to put tiles on that place. That's uh, stone tiles at the, at the entrance. Now, look at it now. Look at the wall. Now, look at the window. Did you see any cracks at the bottom of the window anymore? No way. I'm just letting you know that that is the stage. Stage by stage, you build the house. Step by step, you build a house. Step by step, you build your own house. Step by step, you put money aside to do something. That's the that's the door frame there, right? And then step by step, a little drop of water make an ocean. That white spot. Don't worry. That look at the entrance. We plan to put something different at that entrance. Look at the electrical point. Look at all of them. You will not see all those conduit pipe anymore. All of it has been covered to a finish level. Look at it. This that's a door frame. You will see how, how, how blended it blended with the cement, it blended with the door, it blended with the wall. That is to tell you the way it's done. That's the best, that's the way to see all the frames. The frames are wide frames to cover the size of the block in on the at the entrance. If they use six inches block, it will be six inches frame wide. If they use nine inches block at the entrance of each door, you have to do a nine inches door frame, and that is what they are doing there. Let me have a look. Yeah, uh, I hope you guys are learning something. Um, um, let, uh, so that's just the floor. That's the uh, so look at the wall, the smooth wall. If you're renting it or you're living in it, that's the way your wall is going to look like. Now look at it. It's just it's just done. That's a window. So all those one will be covered by electricity point, electrical switches. You don't see all those conduit pipes anymore that was connected here and there. Of all the holes on the wall here and there, they all disappear. Look at the window. Look at the angle. The angle of the of the of the of the room. See, look at that. Beautiful, beautiful. It's just just amazing it's an amazing it's good to see things like this so that when you want to do your project you'll be able to know the stage state by state before your contractor lie to you look at the window sorry about that the darkness is just the 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 the, 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 the weather in, in, in lagos is not too bright for video it's not really very conducive for video recording and look at that it's just a manually and i'm going to give you a breakdown of how much these has cost okay right that's the kitchen and also that's the bathroom so that one is not done because we're going to put tiles that's why they rub they call it a rub they rub it in preparation for tiling tiler will come down and come and tile it from wall from bottom to the top so that to prevent them see all the pipes of water there look at everything look at it you're learning day by day from this channel i'm telling you there's a lot oh god me the water Oh, the weather is beautiful today. It depends on the state you're talking about. Yeah, the weather is the weather for the work that they are doing. They were able to wrap up things because they have a target to do. Um, okay, you're welcome. Thank you. Right there with me. Oh God, so something is affecting the the train. Right. Okay. Um, let me get myself on the screen now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, you can. You have seen that. 
you have really, really seen uh, a progress of this was done. So there's, there's no excuse for any one of us who wants to make ed- ends, who wants to make headway. This was they were saying there is a lockdown here. Even, even the interstate lockdown, they still find a way around it. One of the workers came all the way from Ogun State. Well, uh, has to pass through the, 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 the way is going to come to that where the location of this project is. He needs to cross through Lagos to come to the site. He was there, he found one little place. He stayed for from Tuesday to now. Now, let me just come to the figure. We bought for this plastering. This is two bedroom um, uh, 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 side of the three, th- three flats. This is the, the two bedroom um, um, uh, f- two bedrooms flat of the the of one one aspect of the whole building is what we are trying to make a case study here. Right here, we got two bedrooms, a good sizable good two bedrooms, a master bedroom which has two windows and and then uh, suite two windows with a toilet and bathroom. Then bedroom two with a with a, with one window and toilet and bathroom. Then we got some visitor's toilet next to the living room or sitting room or whatever, whichever way you want to call it. And then we got a big sized, um, yeah, that which is a sitting room. Then we're now next to the kitchen. So now they are all relatively uh, a good size. Um, um, we bought um, a soft sand. At this stage, when you get to this stage after the conduit has been buried in the wall, the, 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 the plumbing has been embedded into the wall. The conduit wiring has been the pipes has been embedded into the wall. Then, um, then uh, the windows is now in place, right? Then, then the door frames also in place at this stage. Then, because all the windows have to be uh, on stay, uh, be, be, be be in place. The door frame has to be in place. Then, so that the the, the plastering uh, will now blend everything. You don't have to be going back and front. So the plastering. We now bend, uh, blend um, all of it together. So at this stage, you need a, a lorry. Uh, well, we didn't finish it. Uh, 20 tons of soft sand, which is called plaster sand. Right. If you have a contractor, who, if you want your, 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 a smooth plaster, you, your contractor, if he's an experienced person, will have a sample of a plaster, uh, plaster s- s- texture of sand. And it must be white. There are different types of plaster sand. There is a, a brown plaster sand. There is a red plaster sand. This time that is, that is, is a raining season in Nigeria. The people that supply sands are very clever. They just don't want their vehicle to get stuck in the mud, in the, in the, in the remote places where they es- excavate, where they dig the sand. So what they do, they, they wait and they see erosion and they begin to dig and, and, and carry erosion sand. Of course, they know where they, they normally stop the sand from going down and they carry erosion sand and they will sell erosion sand for you for plaster. You have to take note of that. Your contractor needs to know this. The erosion sand is different. Even though some of them are fine texture, but they are not going to be white properly. They are not going to be properly white. Let me see how many people live. So, um... Oh, I'm not. Oh, you're not hearing. It's it's maybe it's your the device. Um, life goes on. I'm not hearing. Uh, oh, thank you. My <laughs> smile. Thank you. Okay, like I said. So at this stage that we are talking about, the um, plaster sun must be soft and must be white, very white. There are three categories. Some are brownish but they are very textured so you use the brownish one if you can get the very fine white uh, plaster sand then you use it for internal plastering but when you're going to do the outside the external wall you got to find a fine fine white uh, plaster sand do not let them rush you to do that plaster because they want some of these contractors there they need their money they work on a daily charge on a daily what whatever they can make daily so they will push you to go and use any sand because they just want to get the job done and get their money into their pocket to move on so please tell them i want a very white white very white fine fine texture soft sand so that one so one lorry 
of 40,000 naira. Please don't go and put pressure on your on your, on your contractor. Say, ah, he's 40,000 naira. They are selling white uh, uh, text. Uh, for the time which we bought this one, that was the price, 40,000, 20 ton. We bought it and we did not finish it. So right now, the estimate that we use for that, that, that two bedroom flat that I just told you, with two, 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 two bedroom, three toilets, two bathrooms, and the kitchen, all right, we, 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 we used 24 bags of cement. I didn't even f- I find out, I think ask them um, t- today, that, that, that even tell you that they even did outside the veranda, because the veranda we have a particular, uh, 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 we have a particular stone, stone tiles that we want to use, so we didn't tell them to smooth in the front, so they, they inside, the kitchen and the kitchen and the toilet, we they rub it. They didn't make it a fine fine finish. But the, all the rooms, the passage, and the the the, the living the, the kids sitting room, it was a fine smooth. So twenty four bags of cement of elephant cement. Elephant cement is cheaper than than Gote at the moment. We have um, uh, we bought it, bought delivery two thousand six hundred. 2,600, 2,550 plus 50 naira for the Okada man who will take it to the site. I don't know where your, your location. We are talking of very close to Ogun State now. So your home might be cheaper, your home might be more expensive, but I'm just telling you that averagely 24 bags of cement will be used for this kind of size of project. So if you have any bigger project than that five bedroom flat, you could have a kind of an idea as well. If they use 24 bags to plaster the inside. Of a two bedroom toilet and bathroom for 24 bags of cement, then you can add, have an idea of how much you can add more to that. I said, Well, okay, you should be able to add a few more bars this week completely because some of these contractors they are, they, are, they, they, they are smart, they can outsmart you. They might say they need 50 bags of cement, but let me be honest with you if somebody said they need 50 bags of cement, you begin to worry. Worry is a way two, uh, two bedroom flat. You're going to use 50 bags now. If I don't know what I'm doing, 50 bags they will put 26 bags of cement multiplied by 2600. And do you know how much that one will be? 20. Let's see how much that one is. Uh, God, bear with me just one second. Is the POP man that is being texting me now? Like I said, I'm still coming. It's, it, it's the buyer's market. If you haven't watched last video, go back and look at it. They, are, they will be calling you once you start a project because there's no business out there. Business is down at the moment. So you are the one, once you have money, you'll be able to <coughs> strike a good bargain. <coughs> they said the hand that give it is always above. So let's let's just go and quickly do what quick money that this contractor can quickly make. So 26 bags, 26 times 2,600. Uh, the man with pocket, 7,000 naira before even taking his labor uh is is the, the money for the labor uh, how many of us are online today we got 38 welcome all of us we're doing pretty well but we're going to learn a lot we're going to learn and learn a lot today right okay the what the topic is um estimate of plastering two bedroom flat okay right okay that's um that is just that so um we use 24 bags um, uh, uh, we, um, 20 tons of smooth sharp, uh, smooth sand at this stage you don't use sharp sand don't let them tell you you're going to buy two two tippers one one sharp sand one smooth sand no it's smooth sand when it comes to plastering this texture of the sand is different from the one that they will use for for the when you they are laying the bricks or when they are doing the decking no they don't use that type of texture so you use smooth sand so we use 24 bags which cost both delivery 2600 and um, about 24 bags so you can look you can see that believe it you can make it you can do it this this the 24 bags 23,000 now 24 bars cost us how much times uh, 2600 62,000 naira we use 62,000 naira worth of cement to do that project that you're looking at which is the front part of the of the contract so we use 64 so I'm just give a four round estimate then we do we put the sand for 40,000 naira right so I'm telling you we're going somewhere we bought that one and then the label um the label for the uh the, sorry we bought, all you need there is sand and the cement soft sand and cement and then you give 
the laborers. I'll give you the figure of what cost us to, uh, to pay for those guys that are doing the plastering. Um, 29 plus um, 19 plus um, 20. Okay. So 68. So in other words, 68,000 cost the work, the workmanship. Okay. So now in total, 68 plus 40 plus 40 plus um, 64 172,000 naira please don't be scared by figures but don't forget that when you do this you're not doing it for an enemy you're doing it for your friends for yourself you're doing it for your family you're doing it for your generation you're doing it you're leaving a legacy behind the by this it says a good parent leave an inheritance for his children. Children, what do you want to leave? What do you want to boast of that you've been in the country where you are? Tell me what you want to boast of. If you cannot, how much is if it, what we're talking about now is not what we're talking about 172,000 naira. You convert it with the currency of the country where you are. Let's assume the dollar, the, the dollar is very, it's doing very well at the moment. Pound sterling is doing very well at the moment. Pound sterling is five hundred and twenty naira. Five. I mean, let's let's give an an, an, an example of five hundred and twenty naira it divided by one seventy two. It's um, it's one seventy two thousand. You can do it. It's nothing you cannot do. It is a sacrifice here and there. Deny yourself of one thing or the other. Okay, divided by five twenty. That's is doable. Five twenty naira. 330 naira 330 naira simple you can do it you know what some of us the way we don't we don't want to face the fact that this thing is achievable but that's why i put it there believe it believe it believe it if you look at the bottom there that's a slogan believe it you can do it don't let don't hold back don't hold a chance to become a landlord don't hold back a chance to become a homeowner don't hold back a chance to leave something behind don't hold back a chance to build something that you're going to be getting revenue for your retirement i don't know what age that any one of us are now because we don't know nobody ever predicted that today this the world the whole world will be like this nobody ever 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 thought this will happen at all Nobody ever thought. Now, but with forty thousand, okay, Gloria, forty thousand naira um, is the smooth sand which we use to plaster the the entire um, flat. We took we took a flat out of the three flats, so we use it as a case study. So that is it. You're believing you can do yes, believe it. You can do much more than you think you cannot do. See how much you've spent. Thank God. You see, during this period, we a lot of us we're not we don't go out to spend those money to the to eat rejoint. The money that you spend on some of us who are at home, let me be honest with you, some of us are being paid while we're at home. We're not paying for transport fare. We're not. It's unfortunate for some of our people. They've lost their job. Some of our people, yeah, for some reason, we, we, we they, 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 their, their, their salary is being divided. But what about those of us who God has given that that grace to be in the job and still get paid, and we're working from home, and the money is there. We're not doing anything to it. We we saved a lot of money during this time. Why don't you try? And evaluate something and get something done. Even if you have started and you've abandoned the place, get some malams to go and cut the grass. Start by even telling them to cut the grass that are that out uh, that have overgrown onto the side. That has overgrown the, 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 the grass that has overgrown in the side. First and foremost, they say cleanliness, clean cleanliness, cleanliness leads to godliness when you clean something it leads to, to godliness if you want something you want god to build you a big house you want to get this you want to get that 
But what you have, you don't treat it well. You, have, you cannot get another one. So it's a basic principle and common principle. You need to treat what you have. Don't whatever abandoned project which you have done, you left those projects back in Nigeria or in Ghana or in um, my good evening, sir. Um, between the smooth sand and sharp sand, which one is more costlier? Mm, no, they they are relatively the same price. They're just about two thousand or five thousand. But they use more of uh, sharp sand for the um, laying of bricks. The um, you're doing the pillars, you're doing the flooring, you're doing the uh, the decking, you're doing the lintel, you're doing some rough rough work. That's why they call it rough work. But when it comes to the wall, the walls of the of the house, the all the walls, the ceiling, the the, the, the so where, where the, the deck well, the, under the decking. You use the smooth sound. So anyway, um, we 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 used um, one hundred and seventy-two thousand naira to do this uh, cementing of that place. So please don't go and over <laughs> and be shouting at your contractor that oh now that man has told us that we need to use twenty-four bags of cement. Now your size of your house also determine that is just to tell you the analysis that I'm giving you here now. Um, Benin is 45,000 naira. Okay, good luck. It's 40,000 naira in Lagos. So that's why I start telling the prices differ everywhere. Sometimes you will get something cheaper in Benin and we get it more expensive down the south. So now, why I've just drawn out these figures is that all of us that we are based abroad, these are not rocket signs, these are not. These are not rocket science. These are doable. These are achievable. We are talking about windows. How many windows are we using? We are using... We, uh, if you look at that project now, we have two windows in the parlor. We have one window in the kitchen. That's the third window. We have three toilets. So that is uh, six windows. And we have three windows in the, in, the, in the two bedrooms. Two in one room, in the master bedroom. And one in the other in the bedroom too. So we have nine windows, and these nine windows cost maybe about three hundred thousand. How much is three hundred thousand? We are not going to eat money. We are not going to to even see the kind of wastefulness, the amount of irrelevant expenses that we, some of us that we base abroad, we will build a house within two years. I am telling you, we will build. You can do it. Believe it. Just believe it. That a a a a twenty thousand here. Believe it. You can do it. We are talking of one seventy two thousand naira. You are more than that. Look at how much you have spent in the past two years that did not bring back anything for you. You go and look at it. You need. You know yourself more than more than me. Go and look at the expenses. How much you have spent, blown away, blown out, given to friends, given to auntie, given. I'm not saying you should not give relative money, given to these girlfriends, take this, that, get that, party here, joint, having get together here, that did not want anything. So, if you look at 172,000, then don't get me wrong, you are not going to put all this money down in one go, you are going to be doing it bit, bit by bit. Days of foundation, days after the foundation, you put the frame, all the blocks together. Oh, Abraham, there are shows, uh, good evening. I'm in Germany, but I have a building project in Nigeria. So, six rooms and two parlor. How much can the deck take? That's a real big, big analysis. I can't tell you that. I really cannot use this show to begin to tell you how much it's going to cost you. To do a decking there's a lot that goes into a decking so i cannot use that this this forum to be telling you that all right 24 bags of cement used for both is no it's only the inside you can't use 24 bags for outside and let me be honest with you because i controlled everything from here i delivered the cement i did not tell give them money to go and help me buy cement because they will not do they will they, they will they, they tell me that they're going to use 20, uh, 20, uh, uh, they told me the number of cement per room and I told an, uh, a, a, uh, my supplier deliver 24 uh, no, I first delivered 20 bags they told me that oh they have finished it they have uh, the living room to do 
So they need four more bags. So I deliver. They delivered another four more bags to sign. So they cannot. They don't even know the man who is delivering the, the cement. So they cannot. They cannot resell the cement bag to the owner. They might sell the paper. They might use the paper. You have good luck to them. Let them make money from the paper. I don't need the paper. And with that, with I delivered the cement to the site. Okay, so um, we've got 15 minutes to wrap. I don't want my show to be more than one hour. So if I get any other thing during the week, we we'll come back. But let me be honest with you. What I was saying, this is a bias market. You have the chance. This, this time we also pass. You will not get this time of in your life anymore. We do not pray for this to happen. But when there is a shaking, there's always some people that will be winners. There will be some losers and there will be winners. We are winners. You are based abroad. You are winners. Take advantage. Harness all the resources around you. You cannot even sell anything at the moment because you are going to get a bad money from it. You won't sell. You can't. You can't put anything. You can't put any car in the market now. It's a bad time. Time of bad market. There is a bad market at the moment. It is a real, real, real bad market. But you can, you can buy. If you want to sell now, it's not a good time for you to sell anything. That's why. Look at the pound sterling. Do you take advantage of the the rise in the sterling now? Now look. Can't take advantage of the bad of the of the of the rate. The rate is absolutely good. In UK, 520 naira is is a sterling is one pound. And then, uh, according to one of my friends, whether he's watching me now, we four dollar is between 450 naira to um, 480 naira. Whereas the euro also is around maybe five 408 500 naira. So take advantage. Let me be honest with you. This is a time. Uh, this is the time we should be. We that we are abroad should now take advantage. The labor market is cheap. If I can tell you how they pester me here and there, just because I told them I am the one that is dictating the amount I'm going to pay for some of these laborers now. They because the job is they, 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 there's no movement. Of, of because it's only three days they do in Lagos. They do Monday, they do Wednesday, and they do Friday, Tuesday, and Thursday. And some of these guys, they depend on what they do per day. Money they bring into in in daily is what they survived on. So when they see anybody who is bringing a project, they don't, they not, they they, they, they grab it, they undercut. Right, okay. Um, that's more than enough the building in, in Lube, two brother. Uh, my brother, that's more than enough. Um, building in Lube. okay, all right, fair, fair enough. Uh, well, good luck to you, and also don't use less material. Anyway, what, what I'm trying to uh, point out is that we are at, we are at the point where we make the, the, the decision at the moment. You are the one. The, the, the power is in your hand at the moment. Whatever money, in fact, ask around. Maybe you can see somebody who wants to reduce the, the cost. Uh, you want to buy a land? Ask them. This is how much. Insist. This is how much I have. Insist and say, I have this. If you cannot take it, leave it. If you cannot take this, leave it. They will come back to you. They will definitely come back to you. You need to wait. See, believe me. Roof is the unit. No, let me be honest with you. You need. You have the chance to make it. So, like I was saying, you, you the the, the, the plus train. The, we done the plus train for one hundred seventy-two thousand, including laborers, sand and cement, right? The POP is the next stage. Now, in fact, what I'm trying to do now is to put the doors. You will see. You'll be amazed with kind of doors that is going to form, be in front of the house. It is just bit by bit you do things. Please don't be scared. It is not a rocket science. It is not difficult. It is not far away from you. It is in your hand. It is in the hand of everybody that's abroad. You are based in US. You are based in Europe. You are based in UK. You are based in Nigeria. You are based all over the world. All Nigerians that travel far away. We are very determined. You have to be determined. You have to be determined. Don't, don't, be, don't. Don't let this time pass you without doing something substantial with this period. 
gifts to those of us who are still being paid. Look at, look around what you can do with the money because you're not spending money on transport. Some of us, the last time we took our car out of the garage was eight, seven years, uh, seven weeks ago. The last time we cut our head, uh, air was about eight weeks ago. Some of us have not been to barber shop. Some of us who, who every week they cut their hair for a certain amount of money. That money, you have not cut, like me, I've not cut my hair for, for about, about seven weeks now. So usually the money that I should have been spending every two weeks stayed in my pocket even though I didn't see it. The money that I should have used to cut my children's hair stayed in my pocket even though I, 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 I don't spend any. The money that some of us take to McDonald's or any of the eatery joints it stays in our pocket. So what do you want to do with that? Plus a little bit of money that you add to it, you can buy a land. I can't, uh, well, 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 okay, right, I'm going to, every money, yes, every money count. Uh, my WhatsApp call uh, number is plus 44-7825-5555. Uh, that's, that's my WhatsApp number. Okay. Okay, guys. Um. It's it's um it's 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 a winners it's a buyers market now. The labels are cheap. The labels is cheap. I can guarantee you how many people that are on my neck for the POP stage. Let me tell you. Aha! Let me quickly say it here. There's a lot of progress. So those of you that are joining very late, people are doing very well. I'm receiving good reports, good news, good commendation. People are started taking step of faith, bold step to start project to start something they do they doing very well people are doing very well i want to commend everybody i've mentioned oh lord have they been paying her on today she showed me i've seen i've seen what she started they done they done german floor they done the the, the, the house now they build it to let linter i think it is the linter that they need to do so like i was saying please when you when you do your house when you are doing your house now please endeavor not aha one more thing which i need to quickly mention before the time runs out let this has been happening the past couple of weeks people are showing me some images when you want to do your roofing please after the lintel you must endeavor if you're going to do gerald or aluminium long spam please do not do not try to hold back three coaches of blocks is what you're going to put on top of the lintel I mean, let me explain to you. After the lintel, I don't have a good drawing thing here. When, when you, after the lintel, once the lintel, I mean, some of us that are not new, are not new to construction, the lintel is after the, win, the window, uh, after the, the, the bridge, the, 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 uh, the, the, the about eight coaches, right? The lintel is the next thing which the iron vendor will mold uh, uh, I don't, I don't, um, where they will put iron rod uh, is above, it's above the window and then they put the wood there and then they put the concrete and then the next thing after the lintel is to get the level of the house they call it level of the house the level of the house is, af is the, the, the next two blocks right please when you get to this stage please do not let them rush rush you, you if you are going to do aluminium long span for your roofing if you're going to do gerald for your roofing you need three coaches if you don't do this by the time they put this high roof on your house your house will be like a dwarf your house the bottom the lower part of the building under uh, uh, under the roof the house will be so small the roof is so massive and then your hand will lie will almost be touching the ceiling also consider if you're going to do pop as well your house we look so tiny under the roof so be careful and, and insist that you would like to put two three coaches a lot of mistakes have been done so it's best a stitching time saves night so when you do this immediately because once you don't do it it's impossible for them to now remove the roof and now we now begin to put more coaches of, of blocks so we've been able some some people have made the mistake it's not correctable anymore but those that they are about to plunge into that um, error, they got their houses corrected. Some of my friends, I'm not going to mention their names, they did 
told me and uh, we were able to rectify this problem as um, immediately so um, i've got two three minutes left for this show it's now uh, it's been a wonderful it's been wonderful experience with you guys today um please if you're just tuning in you oh i've closed it right if you're just tuning in um what we've just done was um um estimate of uh, um of 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 um a two bedroom uh, plaster so if you if you have if you missed the first part of it once the video is processed please endeavor to go back and watch it and then send the other videos send these videos to a lot of friends we don't want our people to have heartache we want them to have a very nice experience when they are building their house because this is something that is achievable this is something is realistic you just need to be determined and 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 uh, be pushful you just need to sacrifice a few things a few luxuries that you put your you, you do to be able to because at the end of the day in a year whatever a project you start a, within a year or two when you begin to see the picture and the video you're going to be happy because this is the thing that we have worked hard for if you look at how, how resilient you are in most of the countries to get your to get yourself going this is just the least this is the least of what you can do for yourself and you're doing this for you you're not watch you're not serving somebody you're serving yourself by erecting project so i want to put the windows before the plumbing works and electrical works what do you think no how will i will advise you to do the um um the plumbing works um plumbing works is not all the uh, toilet seat not the water system is the pipe the piping must go in right if you look at the ones that we, if you've been following the project this project this case study project we put the we have not put all the toilets and everything the electrical conduit piping not the wiring the the the, the pipe for the water, the water pipe and everything has gone in the the electric heater you know, the water heater pipe everything has gone in buried inside the wall so this plaster it all together the window comes in when the window comes in because when they want to plaster it they plaster all the angles because if you put the window they, there's every possibility that when they are doing all this rough work inside the house the windows will get damaged stained and here and there and you don't want it to be even this plastering that we're doing they we have to let them know that look you have to be careful because the net is on this window and we don't want them to start getting corrosive please remember when you're doing your window if you have not have an experience of how to do window go to the last video and then uh, you will you be do you do ac piping before plastering y yes uh, if you know where your air condition is going to be located fine that's that's a good idea but um, there's a way that you can do the um the the ac it could be drilled because the ac is going to cover it and the back of the ac will cover it in the end anyway so it's not going to leave a big hole it's going to cover it at the back and then it's just going to come out if you wait before they do the external plastering then you can do it you can plaster the inside and do it later and also uh, once you identify the place where you your pump your your air condition will be <clears throat> then you can do that okay what's that i have a two plots Lube Abuja, do you recommend building for rental purposes or for purpose use? I mean, my right. I will say rental. If it's a, I will say commercial. Three quarter of it should be commercial, and you can leave one the one to do a uh, short let, so that uh, anytime you want to come back home, you can with the short let one will be available for you to use, and as soon as you leave, they can do short let for you okay so any other questions i'm rounding up now so anyway what, what i'm trying to emphasize here please when you're doing your roofing take cognizance of the so much construction error that they are doing they they they, they, they break clear will rush you because they don't want to go on top of they don't want to go and climb the roof again make sure that you do three coaches so that your house the roof will not be big, so huge than the, the house that you want to live in okay we, we we have spent an hour today please um appreciate all of you whatever country that you're located
please keep the government guidelines. Keep safe. Keep fit. Keep two meters distance by, by what the health official, health um, practitioner said. Um, all of us that are doing very well will continue to do very, very well. Please take advantage of this current situation at the moment. The dollar is high, rate is good at the moment. Pound sterling is good at the moment. Uh, um, Euro is also good at the moment. This is the time that you can be because this time will not come back again. We will not see this time. We don't pray to see this time again. But if we have money, money cannot be sitting in the bank. Please do something substantial, something, something worthwhile, something encouraging, something that you can leave behind, a legacy, something that you can look as a way. Thank God I did it during this time. Okay, all right. We are going to uh, thank you, you too, uh, Gloria. God bless you too. Thank you for all the prayers. Thank you for all the good comment there, comments. Thank you for all the prayers. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for you being part of the show. Please, all of you, we are all hardworking, good Nigerians. Keep doing what you know how to do. Don't go out of the necessary things that you need to do because we all together, we will go back. The terrain where we are is not the final bus stop. We still have a place. We know where we came from. We know what is essential. This You can be a, a landlord. You can build something for your retirement that you can always get rental income from, which, and if it's not working on well, if you rent out, you're not getting your rent well, in four or five years' time, you can sell the house it is not the money that you, the, the value of the house is already increased. And so on this note, I want to say bye-bye. Merci beaucoup all over the world, wherever country, where you are. Keep fit, keep safe. God bless you. God bless you all. You will continue. You will reach your destination. The, the Bible says we will build a house. We will live in it. Go and search the scripture very well. It is. He said whatever he started in us, he will complete it. I'm, I'm trying to leave me scripture right here. We will build a house. We will live in it. Thank you, Eddie. Thank you, Lukeman. Thank you, Lukeman. Thank you, Joseph. All of you, Dan Lewis, uh, Junior, Edomoyi, Gloria, Joseph, uh, US, Team A, Femi, Shwaibu, John, Joseph. All of you that have been on the show today. Thank you. Igwe from Boston. John, um, all of you that have been, you've been amazing, amazing people. Keep being um, dedicated, uh, resilient, um, determined, and uh, sacrifice. Sacrifice whatever you can sacrifice. It can be tough, but you can do it. It doesn't cost much to buy sharp sand, to buy soft sand, to buy windows, to plaster a house. Just bit by bit, gradually, gradually, gradually. You are, you are building your own house. You are building your own castle. A little drop of water makes an ocean. You are not putting the old money down together, but you can do it gradually. All right, on that note, so we'll see you either midweek or next weekend. God bless you all. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care. All right, bye-bye.